Are you guys ready for some number talks? Yeah. All right, here we go. Here's your first problem. Forty-eight. You see some agrees. Anybody come up with a different answer than forty-eight? Yes. I came up with forty-nine. Forty-nine. Okay. Any other answers other than forty-eight and forty-nine? Okay, we have two answers now, so what we're going to do is we're going to justify our thinking, okay? So that we can choose one of these answers or come up with a different answer. Okay, so I'm going to go back to you. I want you to talk me through your thinking. 39, so it will be 40, oh. and then you have 8 left. So you partition this number with 1 and 8, and you move the 1 over here. So you're telling me that 39 and 1 more makes what? 8. 40. 40. Good. Okay, keep going with your thinking. And then you have 8 left, right? And 40 plus 8 is? 48. Good job. Very good thinking. So you made a friendly number to solve that problem. That's great. Anybody use a different strategy to solve 39 plus 9? 39 plus 10 equals 49. Ooh. But we weren't doing 10. So I subtract. So I did 40. 40. Um, I mean 39 plus 10. <coughs> and then I subtracted 1 and got um, 48. Good job, Caitlin. Did you guys see what she did? She said that she pictured this 9 as a 10 because it's very close, right? And adding 10 is always something that's very easy for us, right? And she said that 39 plus 10 more makes 49. <coughs> and then she went back, and since it wasn't 10, it was 9. She took 1 away and got 48. So we know now that 39 plus 9 is 48. Do you all agree? Yes. Use that to help you solve this next problem. Here we go. 57. Okay. I see some agrees. Did anybody come up with a different answer? No. Okay. All right. Talk me through your thinking then. Um, so I added 1 to the 39 to make it 40. From 18. Yes. And I added the 40 to th I added the 10 to the 30 to make it 30 make it 40. And I added that 1 to make that 50. And so I had 7 left, so it's 57. Okay. Because if you have 1, what's your other part of 18? 1 and what makes 18? 17. Yeah. So now I know that I have this much more to add. So 40, what'd you and do? And I added that 10 to the 30. The 10 from the 17? Yeah, to, to get to the 40. And so I got 50 from there. And then I added the 7 so I, that I could get 57. Great job. Excellent thinking. Very good. You did something different. 39. Mm -hmm. Then I did 39. Um, Plus 10. Okay, the 10 from the 18. I did 39 plus 10. Uh huh. But that gave me um, 49 because I had to use one of them because it was 9, not, it was, um, it was 39, not 40. Mm -hmm. So I had to use one to make the 40. And then I, um, got the 8. Yep. I added one of them. To make the 40 to a 50, and then I had 7 left. Okay, so you even broke that number into 1 and 7, and you added 1 to make 50, and then what did you have left? 7. Wow. That's amazing. You are really thinking flexibly enough about numbers. That's a great job. I'm learning about this. So, like, we break up both numbers into their number sentences. Explain that to me. Talk me through that. So it's like 30 plus 9 to the 39, and then... 10 plus 8 for um, 18, mm -hmm. and then all we do is add the 10s together, okay. and the which would be how much? 40, mm -hmm. and then we add the ones, the ones together. Um, 17. Okay. And then what do you know about 40 plus 17? Um, that I could just add the next um, 10. And then I had seven more, so then I knew it was 57. Good job. Very good. Give yourselves a tat on the back. That is some awesome thinking. Your brains are now warmed up for a problem solving, aren't they? 